The young pups engaging with the public on Tuesday may have attracted attention from dog lovers in the city centre, but they're currently in training for an extremely important role. These dogs are part of an illegal tobacco crime unit and may soon be helping to stop criminals in the Swansea area. The team work closely with trading standards to tackle illegal tobacco, some of which can be extremely dangerous. Well, obviously, smoking, uh, smoking anything uh, full stop is, uh, you know, is not good for you. Unfortunately, uh, illegal tobacco products are unregulated products, so we don't know what, what's contained in them. Um, we don't know the conditions where the products have been manufactured. Um, there's, a whole, there's a whole lot of issues surrounding uh, illegal tobacco um, and yeah, we, we just generally don't know a lot about it um, but we do know how to spot a, a fake packet. It's really important that we let people know um, the dangers surrounding illegal tobacco um, and uh, the fact that it's sold at pocket money prices um, often, you know, poorer families and children and young people are targeted by illegal tobacco sellers. So those are sort of some of the key facts that we're, we're trying to um, get out there and uh, let people know about today in Swansea. Trading standards have identified that there is a significant problem with illegal tobacco in Swansea. But how much success are they having at tackling the issue? Every time we come down, every time they come down, we've had a success, um, and we're finding lots of tobacco and lots of cash related to the sale of that tobacco as well. So it's concerning to that it's getting to the residents in Swansea. Well, there's lo lots of new legislation with respect to tobacco, with plain packaging obviously being disguised for in shops, so it's behind cabinets, so it's a lot easier to identify. But the problem we see is that people think they're buying foreign tobacco but it's actually counterfeit um, and it, you know, that's, real, that's a real concern to us because it's unsafe. It's always a, a fire fight because there's always demand for the cheap tobacco because of the price of it because there are the measures that are put in place to reduce people from smoking puts the price up so there's always that demand so it's always a fire fight. We're, we're trying to reduce it and we're trying to educate that's the best we can at the moment. Whilst trading standards with some assistance from the police work hard to identify those selling illegal tobacco, much of their success relies on members of the public and BWY say it's important to have clear communication lines with the public. We've had a really good reaction today. Um, obviously the dogs, uh, the dogs get a lot of people interested um, in what we're doing. Um, we've had an awful lot of intelligence. Um, from members of the public here um, in the city centre um, telling us about people that they're aware of selling and distributing illegal tobacco. So this is a, you know, this, this event is, uh, is, has been key for us today really. The public play a, a key you know, role in, uh, in trying to tackle illegal tobacco and without you know, help and assistance from the, from the public, trading standards wouldn't be able to, to do the job that they do. Um, and so we urge, um, we urge the public to get in touch with trading standards, with Swansea City trading standards, um, should they have any information regarding the sale and distribution of illegal tobacco um, in the city and the county. Whilst there isn't a legal tobacco problem in Swansea, these teams and their canine friends hope to continue to sniff out the trouble. Kieran Goldberg, That's TV.